Hi, I know your time is valuable so I'm just going to show you a very quick review of everything you get in Content Gorilla. This is based on a review video that Andrew Fox did, so you'll see his face there in the bottom corner. So Content Gorilla is basically a tool that will pull content from several different sources and publish it as well to different places. You can see how many down this column here on the left. Some of them might be additional extras to the basic version of the plugin. You'll have to see the page when it launches to check that for yourself. So you can see here where you put in your affiliate ID for Amazon and so on. So when you've got that initial setup done with your IDs, you'll want to create a campaign. You select what you want the campaign for, WordPress, Facebook, Tumblr, and that's what it will post to. In the basic version I think you just get WordPress, but that's plenty. That means you can create your own site. To create a new campaign, you put in your keywords here and your categories over on this side. It will create the categories in WordPress for you. Then you tell it how often to post, however many hours or days, so it drips feeds the content because you don't want a huge site appearing on the internet all at once. That would be a red flag for Google. Much better to have it drip feeding like this. Here you have the templates for the title and body of the different types of content that it draws in. Obviously these templates need code and you get that code over on the right. You just copy and paste it in. The point about having a template here is that you can edit it to make it different from the original source if you want. You can copy and paste the different tags over here that make the title and content come up differently and contain different things. You can go with the default to make it easy for yourself if you want, or you can alter it to make your site different from other people's. Now let's look at campaigns and you'll see more about how it works. This site has some campaigns set up already, so we go to edit and you can see the keywords and categories that it has. The template defines how the content will be pulled from the various sources, whether it's Amazon, YouTube, Yahoo Answers or whatever. If you go to Modify Templates, that's where you can see all of the default templates for the different services and edit them, edit them for your site. These are sites that you can post to, other than your own WordPress site. Don't forget I haven't seen this for myself yet, so I don't know exactly which services you get them in the basic version or whether some of them might be upsells but I know you can certainly post to your own WordPress site with this. And if you go to modify templates, that's what controls posting to your own site. You can post from at least YouTube, Amazon and Yahoo Answers in the basic version, I'm sure. And YouTube is huge right now. Since Google bought it, you can get some amazing results by having a YouTube video in all of your posts. It's worth doing that manually, even if you don't get this plugin. Just a little tip for you there. But it is a lot easier with a plugin like this if you want to build a big new site targeting a lot of keywords. And of course you'll get training on how to do all of this. Here we're going to see how it's posting to a Facebook page automatically. You can see the title, the image, and over there on the right there's some Amazon information. Appearing right there on the Facebook page with your link. This is a WordPress site built by the plugin. This isn't about exotic pets anymore, it's about trumpets. So this has pulled in some content from Amazon. You have the title, the image, the description and an order link, which will obviously be your affiliate link. Don't forget if you promote Amazon products you need to read their terms and especially you need to check for the current wording of their disclosure, which you have to show on every page. So you just need to paste that into a widget on your sidebar or footer. And here we're back to the Exotic Pets site, which is bringing in content from YouTube. So it pulls in the video with its description and a rating. But you could set that up differently to pull in different things. That's what the templates are for that we showed you before. So Andrew calls this an insanely good plugin. It's launching on Thursday the 12th of September. And I hope you'll come back then and find out more about it. Thank you for watching.